In this video, we're going to take our access data and pull it into our Excel spreadsheet. Let's take a look at our access database. Here we have a standard database, uh, and this is probably the one that comes with access as the Northern database. Uh, so let's go into our customers table. And you can see it's just a normal table. Um, so let's see how we can pull that into Excel. I'm going to go back to Excel now. In Excel, what you do is you pick on the data menu. Then notice how over here you can pull them from different sources. So let's say from access. And then you're going to point to that access database. So I know mine's on my desktop and it's going to be in this folder. And it, any access database would work here. So I'm going to use the one I was just looking at called tables. And then we see the various tables there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, pull in the customers table. And it now wants to know where you want to put that in your Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to put it in cell A1 and I'll click on OK. And just like that, it pulled the data in. Now, if you notice, it pulls it in as one of uh, those tables and you can see the filters are up on the top. You can use that or not, but the more important part is that it pulled the data in. Now, let me show you how you can keep the data in sync. Uh, I'm going to pick on the data menu. And then notice how there's a choice that's called Refresh All. And then I'm going to pick on Connection Properties. And notice how you have a choice where it says Refresh every so many minutes so you can change that number. And also refresh the data when opening up the file. So that means if the access data changes on the access side, that this Excel spreadsheet will update with the newest information. So that's a great way to keep the, the data in sync. And that is one way we can pull our Excel data, I mean, excuse me, that's one way we can pull our access data into the Excel spreadsheet.